everybody, it's Tara, and today I'm going to review all the books I read in 2018 in under five minutes. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, still one of my favorites of all time, we'll just pretend the movie doesn't exist. The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn, a thriller without any actual thrills. The Babysitter's Club, numbers one through five by Anne M. Martin. Now that I'm 35 and a mother, I realize how laughably unrealistic all of these books are, but nostalgia! Wires and Nerve, Volume 2, Gone Rogue by Marissa Meyer, an android made me cry again. The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. Reminded me why I hate dated sci-fi. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. A must-read for every self-proclaimed geek girl, especially those of the fanfic writing variety. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Am I the only one who didn't realize Silas was a vampire? The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I think she ran out of ideas three quarters in and just started writing down whatever crazy shit popped into her head to get it done. A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lengel. The fuck did I just read? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. The movie was better. James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. This book written for six-year-olds had this old lady laughing out loud almost every single page. Refugee by Alan Gratz. I still haven't emotionally recovered from this book. Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate. It's a book about a tree, and it made me cry. Twice. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The hype is real. I repeat, the hype is real. Rise of the Dungeon Master, Gary Gygax and the Creation of D&D by David Kushner and Corin Shodney. This book taught me that Gary Gygax didn't really create D&D. It was a whole bunch of other people. A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms by George R.R. R. Martin. Gotta read something while we wait for the winds of winter. The Archived by Victoria Schwab. If the Archive had any kind of security whatsoever, this entire story could have been prevented. The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Another reminder of why I hate David Sci-Fi. Bridget Jones' Mad About the Boy by Helen Fielding. The only difference between this and the original Bridget Jones' Diary is that I loved the original Bridget Jones' Diary and I hated this piece of shit. Artemis by Andy Weir. Great for people who are really into welding and... No, that's about it. Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. Torture Porn. The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Harry Potter, but with Greek gods. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Why does everyone worship this book? Prince Lestat by Anne Rice. I'm still not convinced this wasn't actually fanfic. Room by Emma Donahue. If you're a mother, don't read this book. Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Somehow even better than the first book. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone audiobook by J.K. Rowling, narrated by Jim Dale. It's Harry Potter. Nuff said. Origin by Dan Brown. I wish I still had this book so I could just throw it at the wall. The Bookshop of Yesterdays by Amy Meyerson. I guess the big twist ending on page 38. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Plot, characters, setting, creepy photos of creepy kids doing creepy shit. This book has it all. Very Good Lives by J.K. Rowling. An inspiring speech, but speeches are better heard than read. Five Very Good Reasons to Punch a Dolphin in the Mouth by The Oatmeal did not convince me to punch a dolphin in the mouth. In Real Life by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. There's no way you'd be that much of a badass at level two. Come on. Civil War, a Marvel Comics event by Mark Miller and more. Probably great for Marvel Comics fanboys, but not so great for MCU fangirls. Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. N-S-F-W. Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. Too much story, too few pages. Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Not as flawless as the first two, but still a solid finale to the series. The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. Just read The Lightning Thief again. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. If you're a mother, don't read this book. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Probably the strangest love triangle you'll ever read. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Why does everyone worship this book? An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lupina. Discount Clue. Lethal White by Robert Galbraith. When are Strike and Robin gonna hook up already? An absolutely remarkable thing by Hank Green. Great beginning, great ending. Middle, meh. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Didn't quite live up to book one, but really made me want a book three. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Why does everyone worship this book? And lastly, brightly burning by Alexa Dunn. <sighs> and there you have it, every book that I read in 2018 reviewed in under five minutes. I thought this was a fun way to look back at all the books that I read this year and to give you a quick thought on them, but if you want to hear more of my thoughts on any of these books, I will link all of my 2018 wrap-ups down below for you. Thank you so much for watching everybody, and until next time, happy reading and happy new year. Bye-bye.